بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين إلى قيام يوم الدين السلام عليكم my beloved sons and daughters ورحمة الله وبركاته Insha'Allah, we are going to take today the lesson number five of our weekly Sunday sessions about Ma'rifat. And we were discussing about the verses of Ma'rifat. And according to the list I was given, that this is supposed to be the verse number five on the verses of Ma'rifat. So, and this from Surat Al-Dhariyat. Surat Al-Dhariyat. Um, Let's try to ponder in Surat al dhariyat And as you know, our methodology is uh, like this. Number one, we go through the surah. Number two, we try to find the linguistics. What are the linguistic meanings of the terminologies? And number three, we try to find out uh, the Quranic use of this word. And number four, we try to interact with the verses of Quran. And then we see what can we conclude from all this. And, and in the middle, we will try to also connect it with our uh, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ma'rifat, which is the sole purpose of these sessions, to understand the ma'rifat from these verses of the Quran. Okay? So uh, we go to <clears throat> the ayat. Basically, I was given two ayat, but I added the third ayat as well. Remember now, we have malakut. So we have khalq and we have amr. So basically, uh, we said that we have malakut. Malakut is like uh, uh, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can perceive it in the metaphysical system and physical system. So we have khalq and we have, we have amr. Khalq is the laws of biology, physics, chemistry, all these control and govern the khalq. Amr is something which we said, which is kunfayakun. Uh, Inna ma amru ida arada shen an yakul alam kunfayakun. So some scholars, as we said, that they consider this kunfayakun uh, realm malakud, but some others they consider the whole thing, the whole kingdom of Allah is malakud because initially even the physical world has started from the spark of kunfayakun. So therefore, other scholars they say malakud, and then Surah Yasin says. So that means the power of everything. That means he has the potential power to destroy everything in, in, a, in a blink of an eye if he wants. He has the control, he has the power. So that is why we said that it is good to understand it as malakut, as inclusive to the, the physical and the metaphysical, the khalq and the amr. However, inshallah, we are going to have... Uh, uh, where did our slide go? Yes, there you go. So we have chosen these two ayat based on the list which was given to us. And this ayat, uh, let's ponder, where is the khalq and where is the amr in this ayat? Wafil ardi. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is presenting an argument. So we are going to see what is before this ayat, after this ayat. So obviously there's an argument with it between the disbelievers. Allama Tabatabai says this argument is all about not the existence of God. He says it's more of oneness of God because the, the Mushrikeen, the Meccans, because the Surah is Meccan Surah, the Mushrikeen, they believed in the existence of God. It's not they disbelieve. However, they said God has partners. God has partners and God has um, companions. The idols are partners of Allah. Shuraka, Sharik, partner, polytheism. 
Allah is when Allah argues with the disbelievers, these idol worshippers, He doesn't need to prove that uh, He doesn't need to prove that He exists because they they know they know that God exists. So what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to argue with them? Yeah, he's arguing that, that I'm one, not so many. I don't have any partners. Don't you see that I created everything? The material which you are making your idols from, I created them. Yourself, inside yourself, the idol could not create you guys. Idol did not create your eyes, your nose, your throat, whatever you have. Idols did not create you. So this is the theme of this ayah. That idols did not create you guys. The earth which I have created, you took parts of it and made your idols by clay or by wood or by whatsoever. You took parts of the earth. Parts of the earth you use it to make your idols. How can they make something? How can remember the theory of uh, um, uh, an effect can never be the cause of its cause at the same time, same realm? How can an effect? The cause is earth. From the earth, if it was not for the earth, idol would not have been made. So, so idols are effects of the earth. How can they have been created, the earth? You see? A son can never be the father of his father in the same time, same realm, same, 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 same. Never, ever. Okay. A, a daughter can never be the mother, uh, mother of her mother at the same time. The, the house can never be the maker of his maker. Okay, the chair can never be the maker of his maker. So, so there is a maker. He is the cause. The the effect uh, the, and the, what he makes the made is an effect. So, made can never be the cause of the maker. Its maker at the same time, same realm, same every circumstances are same. So, therefore, as Allah is trying to tell them, Earth, look into the Earth. You guys are uh, making partners with me. Aren't you using the material from the earth which I have made and then you are making them gods? How can they be gods, my partners in making the earth where they are part of the something which I made? They are not deity. They are not omnipotent. They are not... Uh, they, 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 they are, they are, they are, they are create part of my creation. Wafi and Fusikum. And look at you at yourselves. Now look at yourselves could be nafs. That means... Amr, and it could be khalq, your nafs, look, in, look, look at yourself, your eyes, your those, all these are khalq. And it could be both, look at your uh, soul and you can look at your body. Look at your soul, the delicate of soul. Nobody can know what is the soul made of, spirit, I mean. And look at your body, how unique the body is. So this is our, basically, a small introduction. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to point out that look at the earth, O oh, idol worshippers. If you are believers, you will know that there is only one God, not more than one. And look at yourselves, your nafs or your body. So basar means physical eyesight. So this nafs means the physical parts of the body. However, some of the scholars, they said it could be because basar has been used metaphysically as well. Basira, like insight. Don't they have insight? So if we say insight, then it is inclusive to the physical body and the metaphysical body, to the body and to the nafs, to the, to the body and to the soul. And that is more obvious because, because it's not the body only unique. The soul is unique in itself also. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to point out who made, like several people, they would fight. One, one God will say a nose is here. One God will say nose is here and they will fight. And some of us will have nose here, some of us, one eye here, one ear, one, one ear here, and one eye here, one ear here. So, so there will be chaos. So, so God, some gods will say, no, let's do like this. Some gods will say, no, it will be chaos. So it, it, it's impossible to picture idol, idols uh, part, being in partner with Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the own, alone, sole decision is his only no one, even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa was the best of creation, do not, is not a partner of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does not share Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him some authorities, his authorities, but still the original authority is Allah's. And we, what, or, and he's not a partner in the sense that he's independent. 
he whatever he will do from the authority given to him by Allah has to be with the permission of Allah. So the authority is one. The idols, they are like this idol is this authority, this idol is fertility, this idol is rain, this idol is sun idol, this idol is this, every idol is duties. No, this is not like that. Authority is different. Authority is the power of God given to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa who is a living being and not idol, first of all. Okay, so, so this ayat, وَفِي الْأَرْضِ Obviously, خَلْق آيَاتٌ لِلْمُوْقِنِينَ Muqinin, what are these muqinin? In the Quran mentioned that muqinin are like Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, who have this yaqeen without any single doubt. So this earth can lead to the yaqeen of those people who would like to gain yaqeen. So those people who gained yaqeen, they were able to gain yaqeen. So you can, you can understand it two ways. These ayat, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth, what are these signs? Which made the believers certain about their belief. In the, on, uh, in the earth, there are signs for the believer, for those who want to be believers, okay? They did not believe unless they have seen the signs. So their belief is based on intellect and not on emotions and blind faith. Okay, so this is what Quran promotes. Think before you believe. So Allah has given his signs on the earth to think before you believe. Okay, so this is under muqin yaqeen. Yaqeen means certainty. Yaqeen means certainty. Aynul yaqeen, haqqul yaqeen, these kind of things we have mentioned previously. So yaqeen means certainty. certainty. So now, Allah has signs for those who have attained certainty, they attained it through the signs, or those who would like to become have certainty, they would have to ponder the signs. What are these? In the earth. It's a very, very black and white statement, earth. So then another ayat where we okay, what in earth exactly? The formation of the earth, the topography, the rain falls on the earth, the, the plant grows, all these are in the earth. In this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions only the earth. But if you go to another ayat, Tafsir al-Quran, Ibn al-Quran, Allah mentions, don't they see the crop we grow? Don't they see the, the formation of the ground? Don't they see how the, how the water, like we, we did last week, how, the, how Allah made the surface of the earth in a way that the water could reach? This is all earth. So last week, it was specific. It was a specific sign. Today, it's talking in title, in general, Wafil ardi. Okay, what about wafi and fusikum? And in your souls. Now, this anfusikum, literally, we are going to take linguistics. It could mean soul, it could mean your, your uh, ruh, spirit, it could be anything which is related to you. It could be yourself, you yourself. So, if we consider that, that Allah says, look at your body and body parts, how unique they are, that means this is physical eyesight. Okay, that means look at your physical eyes. Tubsirun, afala tubsirun, don't you see? Number one. Number two, if we say Allah is telling us, look at your soul, then we can't say this is physical eye because you cannot look at your soul with physical eye because soul is metaphysical. So you have to think about soul. So that means tubsirun could become reflect, ponder, insight. So that is why in the earth are signs for those who have conviction, they reach to their conviction how? Through these signs. So that is talk, earth is khalq, like signs of nature. And then examine and conclude uh, the certainty because these people, they examine and they conclude the certainty. That's because these are physical things that lead to certainty of the existence of God. Certainty about the existence of God, like observing or sighting. So it's a theory of causality. Something led to something, okay? Something led to something. If it was not for this thing, this would not have happened. If it was not for Allah, the earth would not have been existed in its unique form. And then Allah says, the next ayat, and in your souls, will you, in your souls as well, and 
Don't you perceive? Don't you ponder? Don't you think? Don't you reflect? Again, Basira is physical. Don't you, don't you look at the, your body parts with the looks of pondering? How great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it. So things can be seen things can, uh, and things cannot be seen. These are the things which are in our body, okay? Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to uh, ponder and reflect. So the, the lo love, you cannot see the love. Feelings, you cannot see the feelings. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So now, as I said, I included the third ayat. Now, this is from the enlightening uh, tafsir of the Quran of Ayatollah Nasser Makkah with the group of scholars. We said, ardi, certainty, certainty, certitude. And that means, don't you like uh, have this in, in, inner sight? So here, anfusikum, and also in the creation of your own selves are signs of divine omnipotence, grandeur and wisdom. So, so there are a lot of things. So that means that we have, we have been blessed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being with us always. Why? Because he, he, he created everything. And when we look at things surrounding us, we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Will you not then see? Let me see and reflect, ponder. And then Wafis Sama again back to so Allah spoke out the earth. There are signs. Your nafs, there are signs. Don't you sight? And then in the heavens, there's a risk for you. Okay, whatever is promised to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made promise to every single people who are living that they are going to get the risk. Some may struggle. Some may get it easily. For by the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Trust me, it is the truth. Now, what is the truth? We have two, three things here. Is the earth which is sign truth? Or is the nafs which is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us? Is it truth? Or is the risk guaranteed for us? Coming from the heaven, bima tu adun. Wa'ada means wa'ada, for promise. So where does for Rabbi, for Sama'i, by the Lord of the heavens, wal ardi, inna ulhaqun mithla ma anakum tantiqun. It is the truth, but not, and nothing but the truth. Uh, if you were, if you were communicating, if you were speaking about it, okay. So so here. What, what is this? Is it like earth? Or is it, is it earth haq? Really, it, it is a sign? Or it is really nafs which is a sign? We don't ponder. Or it is the signs as it is it, as, as it, they are? And um, Allah said that rizqukum, your livelihood is also a sign from Allah. How do we get our livelihood? Allah says, wa fi sama'i rizqukum. In the heavens you have your rizq. How, what will I do with the heavens? Like I'm on the earth and it's something on the earth. No problem. So what happens? The heavens, they shower rain and the rain grows the crop and the crop is eaten by the cattle and you eat the cattle or you eat the crop. So did, didn't Sama help you? Didn't Sama gave, Sama gave you, gave you this all things through its rain? So that is what people, they do not understand that the, the, the heavens, they give us rainwater and rain, through rainwater, our livelihoods come, our economy prospers. By the Lord of the earth and the heavens. It is truth. That means the, the signs are truth. Or that means uh, your nafs. You see, you have signs in your nafs, but you cannot see. That is a truth. Or you are in the heavens and you are stuck somewhere in transit in one of the airports. So now uh, you don't know what to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide you the risk. It is, it is for sure, it is for sure truth from your Lord. 
لانه لحق مثل ما انكم تتقون it is it is same rights we we cannot mess up with these rights the way we speak about our rights these are rights of others as well هو رب السماء والارض by the lord of the heaven and the earth انه لحق that means these are the words of truth our our words ما ان مثل ما انكم تتقون how you speak okay how you speak you speak about this ni'ma also you speak about this bounty because bounties can go away as well so uh, uh, so truth just it as it is a truth that you can speak about it لحق مثل ما تنطق انكم تنطقون the way you speak about it you can speak about this truth okay and just for the reference like i have kept here alislam.org reference for this page okay now this is uh, we are going to now discuss the linguistics for the linguistics i would like to go to the the, the linguistic uh, website as i was not able to prepare we had a a funeral today my brother's wife we call it bhabi she was older than me 2 years and she died today rahmatullah alayha out of lung cancer she suffered a lot duas 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 were helping her but finally allah said now no more duas i have to take her so he took her yesterday i mean today uh, yesterday i'm sorry yesterday the day of masuma alayhi salatu wasalam's uh, wafat and she used to love be masuma alayhi salatu wasalam and say the zainab Um, and Fatima to Zahra, so inshallah they will be with her. We just told Fatima to Zahra, yeah, Fatima, to Zahra, we are surrendering, giving you an amanat of ours in your hand. So inshallah they will take care of that amanat best of the way. Okay, so this is where <coughs> I try to find the linguistics. Now linguistics can be found in um, in other website as well. Uh, let me see where is the other website. Okay, so so there is a dictionary. I think it's is somewhere here. There is a dictionary. I have I keep it in front of me. It's a a nice dictionary. It's Arabic. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the one. This is this dictionary very good for for non Arabs. It is excellent. So what you do is. Uh, <clears throat> let's let's take our example today so for all those who are non arabs they can always use this so for example which which alphabet you want to you uh, find out about okay uh where do i go okay so now we have uh, the words there was a search thing here okay click on letters i i my letters are disappeared i need to refresh it where are my letters this is click on the letters maybe this one let's see okay so anyhow this is a pdf you can download it okay you can download it but uh, the one which i was using had its uh, and it's uh, i just want uh, to share you this so that uh, you become a, you are researchers so you can benefit from these uh, tools to understand the quran 
Yeah, what happened? Okay, you can, uh, there is one page which was really fantastic where I could just, um, I hope this is the one. Yes, fantastic, super. <laughs> okay, so this page, <laughs> You see the alphabet uh, letters? Let's see, we want to find out what um, الْأَرْضِ Let's take Alif. As you can see, you have all the Alif. So we have Ard. Where is Ard? There you go, Ard. Okay, so this will help you do your research further on this uh, program which you are starting. So these are all the meanings of Ard in English. So you just choose from here Arabic and you can get all the meanings. Uh, so then you can form a context uh, of a, a statement in Arabic language. So it could be the earth, it could be the land, it could be the floor, it could, it could uh, have several, but initially it's earth, but then uh, metaphorically, the context you have to see. Aradun, plural, arasa. And luckily, this has the Quran also in it. And so basically, what happens that um, um, it, 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 it has Quranic uh, 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 terminologies as well. So the words used in the Quran, uh, they have been used in this dictionary. So this is number one dictionary. But I would like to go to the Marjam to find out the words of the verses which we are taking today. Uh, so we are going to go to the Marjam. Okay. So what are the, the, the words today? So this is also easy. What you can do is, uh, let's uh, see what is the ayat uh, for today. Wafil uh, ardi, okay? So ardi ayatun, ayat is signs, muqinin is from yaqeen, certainty, fi and fusikum. So let's see nafs and let's see ard. What are the meaning of nafs and nafs and uh, ard? So if we go to our uh, dictionary, um, so first of all, I don't know whether you are able to see this page or not. This page, as we said, that we are going to go to Alif. And Alif, uh, where is Alif? Ra, Ba, Ard. This is Ard. See? So here, we have all the meanings of Ard. So now you can make a list of the meanings of Ard. What could Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have meant? That's number one. Number two, we go to our uh, Mu'ajam encyclopedia, and then we put the word nafs. <clears throat> so nafs, you can see uh, a small amount of alcoholic drink. <laughs> that obviously, it should not be that. Swallow, drink, gulp. This is nafs. This is nafs. Sorry, not nafs. Nafs. But we want nafs, okay? We want nafs with the sukoon. There you go. So nafs is heart. And nafs is the per human being as an individual. Allah says, and fusikum, look at yourself as a human being. Or look at your heart. Or look at your soul. Okay? And nafs also could mean the intellect. Okay? And nafs could mean ruh, the, the, the soul or the spirit. And nafs could be the essence, the dat, the jawhar, the basic the, the, the most basic important quality uh, of something, essence, nafsu shay, like nafsuhu, nafsu rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, okay? The nature, the self. The self. <laughs> These are the meanings of the, the nafs which we can get. So from this nafs, we will have to go look into the ayat. <laughs> what could Allah have meant uh, from this nafs? Okay? <clears throat> What could Allah have meant? So this is nafs. Let's go to ard, ard. What is linguistically, what is ard? So when we go to ard, we find alif, ra, ba. It's just something for you to learn how to do your research. 
So you can see all the art. Now I'm looking into Arabic English dictionary, okay? So these are the meanings, the earth, the land. These are the two meanings. It says kalimat min al-Quran. So when Quran has used earth, he has, it has used uh, with the meaning of land and majority of the words are used as earth. Then the earth has several other meanings, but we we'll always have to check what is the, the meaning in the time of the descent of the Quran. Okay, that is what we will be looking. And, and also for me, because I like to see Arabic to Arabic. So I have this Arabic to Arabic dictionary. Uh, this is not Arabic to English. And when I put nafs here, okay, let's put nafs here. Nafs. <clears throat> so we will have these. So nafs originally is from light, lightweight, reh. So the, the wind which goes in and comes out from the nose, it is light. When the ruh comes out, it is light, metaphysical creature. So this is from this, this nafs, uh, so this, this, this nafs is called nafas, nafas. The breath is called nafas. Why? Because originally it is from the lighter, the nafs is light. Yet the nafas breathe in or breathe out. All these meanings are there. So, uh, Anfasuhu, his last breath. And then we have, uh, I want to just check the nafs, which we have in the Quran. These are all different derivatives of the nafs. And this gives you a better uh, nafsun. So nafsun, like nafsun sa'ila, the, cold, the, the, the warm blood animal, where you slaughter, the blood gushes out forcefully. And then <clears throat> nafsun muhtarama has been used in fiqh. That means we have respectful soul like a Muslim, like a, those peaceful human being, and those are respectful uh, nafs, okay? And then we have essence of something, and all those things which were mentioned in English are mentioned. But amongst the meaning is ruh, self okay among the meaning is ruh and self so this is uh, number one so let's go back to our our presentation so we now know that the nafs has uh, several meanings among the meaning is that soul intellect body your body your nafs do it by yourself if i live nafsik do it by yourself if i live nafsik be nafsik and do so you do it with your own body that means you see you can't leave your body stable and your nafs go out and does the thing no that doesn't happen so when somebody says do it by yourself don't give somebody else to do that means do it by your nafs means by your body by your own self don't let anybody else do it okay so here in this ayat we have um, number one earth which could be land and which could be the earth and fusikum we said several things could be mean okay <clears throat> okay, now let's see uh, what does our uh, scholars they say. Alama Tabatabai and Ayatollah Nasir Makaram. Alama Tabatabai says, "Wakadalika Nuria Ibrahim, Malakutu Samawati ul So, what is this Malakutu Samawati ul Malakut, the kingdom, Subhanallah Biyati. So Allah says, we are going to show Ibrahim the whole kingdom. That means the physical and the metaphysical. So Allah showed him the physical. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, the metaphysical things, like how to bring people back to life. Like those birds, they were made like a, a salad of birds and kept on the four corners of the mountain, four tips of the mountain, and then he called them. So that was the 
the kunfayakun aspect. That was the kunfayakun aspect. So that the whole malakut, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows him الْوَلِيَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُوْقِنِينَ So that he has this highest level of certainty. Okay, highest level of yaqeen. So that yaqeen means the level of certainty of anbiya. So when we look into the signs, we ponder into the signs, the earth and the nafs, okay, and the heavens giving us risk. All these things, they lead to that there's only one who created the physical world who created your physical body, who created your intellect and ruh and metaphysical nature, who created your, the livelihood for you to survive. It is only one. He's the only one God. Okay? So, so, so this is the yaqeen. Like, remember this ayat? What did, what did this ayat say? وَفِي الْأَرْضِ آيَاتٌ لِلْمُوقِنِينَ Okay? And then, لِيَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُوقِنِينَ So, the yaqeen has a process also. So Ibrahim is in a believer of God, staunch believer. But he has this theoretical aspect. But then we have this um, uh, uh, practical aspect. So Nabi Ibrahim knows that Allah can bring people back to life. But he wanted to, uh, he wanted to examine. He wanted to examine further practically. So that's why he said, he didn't say, Ya Allah, can you... Bring people back to life? He did not say like that because he doesn't doubt in that. He said, Ya Allah, show me how you bring people back to life. So he wants to do something practically so that his yaqeen becomes stronger in that people coming back to it so that he can tell the people, I saw by myself, God showed me how he brings people back to life. So that's, that is a, a, a certitude of Ibrahim. It's not that Ibrahim was idol worshiper, na'udhu or had doubt. Ibrahim had an excellent iman, top. But then the theoretical aspect, he needed to see something like the people coming back to life and all those kind of things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed him so that he could reach the itma'nan, the satisfaction. Wafi anfusikum afala tubsirun. In your nafs, don't you see? Don't you sight? Don't you reflect? Don't you ponder? Remember, we mentioned the word tubsirun. So your body parts are unique. So could nafs be the body parts? Yes. It has the yourself. Do it yourself. That means do it with your body. And it, it has been mentioned several places that nafs could be the, the body. Your senses. Alama Tabatabai gives all these options that these could be all the meanings. And we say it, it, it could be everything. That means Allah is saying, look at your, the uniqueness of your body parts. Look at the fingers. Look at how you hold things. Look at how you drink. Look at how your lips close up on the cup. Look at how you breathe. Look at how the water and the air does not mix and go and uh, cause suffocation to you. Look at every single thing you have on your, in your body, the uniqueness of that thing. Look at your senses how you feel, how you touch. How can I touch cold and warm and uh, smell good, good and bad uh, smells and all these kind of things, your senses, eye, nose, ear, touching senses, all these kind of senses, mouth, there is a very unique pattern in it. So these are all seen, okay? Body parts are seen, your senses are uh, seen. Then also unseen are inclusive. Your feelings, you feel love. Why do you feel love? Can you see the love? No. Can you see the hate? No. But you feel it. So it's a real thing. So it's a real existence of God. He created in you as a human, your nafs. Or no, the desire. What makes you do? Eat. What makes you do have intercourse? What makes you do all the other things, activities? That is the nafs pushes you. So that is the jacket of desire, as we said. And then we have the ruh the nurani power, the power of intellect, the power of light, the power of illumination, and that is intellect. So I cannot see power of intellect. I cannot see power of desire. I cannot see power of uh, feelings, but I can feel the feelings, but desires, I cannot see the nafs. I cannot see nafs. When it's hungry, I see the effects of the nafs, which pushes me to eat something. But I can't see the, 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 the anger and the, and, the, and the happiness and the gladness 
and the hungriness and all. I can't see it. It's not really something you can see it with your eyes, but you can test it out. You can feel it. You can do experiments and then you can realize. So, so there is a need to do pondering in this. And then uh, before I go to... Uh, yeah, there's no problem in taking some of the hadith Allama Tabatabai mentioned in Mizan. Obviously, these hadith are not, as I said, all authentic with the sense of the narr narr narration. So the narrators. The narrators. Some of the narrations, but the content is strong and it is proven by Tawatur in men, uh, through many other narrations. So he said that uh, أنفسكم, that means سميعاً, he created you with your senses. You hear and you see, you become angry. You become hungry, the lust, and you become satisfied. All these are from the signs of Allah. So, in, uh, in uh, Majma' al-Bayan, uh, uh, through Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam, in Tawheed, uh, uh, to Hisham, uh, narrated to Hisham, uh, um, related to Hisham ibn Salim, the hadith, he says, I asked Imam Abu Abdullah al-Sadiq alayhi salam, فَقِيلَ لَهُ بِمَا عَرَفْتَ رَبَّكَ سُئِلَ, I'm sorry. So he was asked, Imam al-Sadiq was asked, how did you know that your Lord exists? قَالَ بِفَسْخِ الْعَزَائِمِ so you want to do something. You are determined to do something. You, you have planned 100%. Something comes up and you are not able to do it. That is say because, because somebody is planning over my planning. I planned. I am going to go to the masjid today. I am definitely going to go. Inshallah, I'm going to go. But then a subsequent called me and he wants my help. Plants changed. He says from the change, changing of the plants, I, I know that there's somebody plans over my planning. If he wants, he can approve my planning. If he wants, he can override my planning and something pops up and I have to quit my planning. So he says that is how. How does this happen? Because you can plan through your nafs. Okay? Azam tu fasakh azmi. I determined to do something. I want to do something. I plan. But he, he violated my plan. And I also made my uh, intention to do something, uh, but he went against my uh, intention to do something. And then also, this has been narrated. Other hadith, risk. Risk. Imam says that Imam Ali ibn Abi Tab says, seek the risk. It is guaranteed for those who seek. For those who don't seek, they will not get. So everybody has to seek their risk. And then another uh, hadith in Tawheed, and Imam Jafar ibn Muhammad, uh, Sadiq alayhi salatu uh, salam, uh, to his grandfather, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, from sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qal, Ya Ali, inna al yaqina. So now remember Prophet Ibrahim's, Allah says, yaquna min al muqinin. Allah wants us to be men al those who have certainty. So what is the sign of certainty? How will I know that I got certainty? Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Ya Ali, inna al la la tarda ahadan ala sakhatillah. Inna al the certainty, that you do, you, are, you do not be pleased with anyone who is gaining wrath of Allah and disobeying Allah. Okay, and la tarda ahadan ala sakhatika, and la turdi ahadan ala sakhatillah. Do not be pleased, do not please someone who is <clears throat> disobeying Allah, gaining the wrath of Allah. Wala tahmadan ahadan ala ma atak Allah. And do not praise someone else for something Allah has given you. So praise Allah. Allah has given you. Why are you praising that person? Yes, you have to thank him, but the praises, all praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَذْمَنْ أَحَدٌ 
malam yuti ka we're having internet issues inshallah we are going to let, uh, take the last uh, last uh, section in this hour. so so what is remaining is what, what 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 where is the earth in the quran so if we come to this uh, page with me okay and let's open the earth so this is a fascinating tool device called corpus.quran now look at all the earth where, where all wherever the earth is mentioned okay let's go through this so there are about 461 times earth has has been mentioned 461 times that means a big research topic can be done out of this earth from the quran so we have see all is earth it is the meaning is earth 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 until it comes to some of the ayat where it is land you see land uh, the earth the earth so so sometimes the earth has uh, earth has been used as earth and here is the land the land okay the land the land anyhow Now what I want to do I want to do is just take out five ayat and ponder on it on it and we're done. So Allah says so this ayat was a a title that is in the Quran there are ayat which are detailed ayat how is this earth a sign so in this ayat allazi ja'ala lakumul arda firasha ha so uh, firash is somewhere you you have comfort so earth has made for you a place of comfort <clears throat> where you where you can settle down where you can build your house it's not moving it's not shaking you can it has a stability but heaven things heaven they are moving when we see even the earth is moving in the earth but the movement is very relative we can't sense it but in the heavens you can see the planets are moving everything is moving is it then who allazi khalala khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'an so here one of the signs everything on the earth is created for us however we we have to use the knowledge to find out but what who's the guardian of the earth then in this ayat in nijailun fil ardi khalifa allah tells the angel i am making on this earth the khalifa my successor the one who's going to represent me and then we have uh, انه يقول الم تعلم ان الله ملك السماوات والارض haven't you knowledge that the allah is the, the 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 king of the heaven and the earth and then here ان في خلق السماوات والارض واختر so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again in the creation of the earth there are ayat so what are these ayat again here's one more uh, i which which tells us the ayat وما انزل الله من السماء من ماء فاحيا به الارض Yes, so now we have this earth, okay? So we have this earth; it 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 becomes alive. And kulu kulu mimma fil ardi halalan tayiba. Eat from the earth, whatever is halal and good. And then we have also 
there are uh, there are so many ayat talks about the things with the product wama fihinna whatever is in the earth allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the knowledge of it and then again one of the things on the earth munzuru kayfa kana aqibatul mukadhibin those people who used to be like the prophets see how they ended up so that's also a sign that shows you that these people they were arrogant egos they had egoistic they were egoistic people and now what allah did to them so that is also a sign and then also about the the food product the agriculture product whatever comes out uh, from the earth all these kind of things are signs uh, of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is there all these fruits are different fruits and different vegetables if you want to buy them in one season you can buy them and that is one of the things which are, are, are unique about the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every place has its certain own type of food suits the the habitant of the people the lifestyle of the people the heat heat of the people like in africa they have lots of uh, the tropical fruits like for example pineapple which is a lot of juice water a lot of juicy things are there in the in the africa so so that's why you see that they they have like a lot of wet fruits but when you come to in some places uh, dry dry countries you have dry fruits like not dry dry but like apples they don't have that much juice in it the way pineapple has it or coconut and all those kind of things yes so these are um, some of the ayat you can uh, just ponder on it later on um uh, allah has made mountains inshallah we will uh, meet next week wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa alihi at-tayyibin at-tahirin inshallah after one hour we have the majlis uh, it will be short majlis half an hour for the uh, marhuma uh, my brother my my brother's wife uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rest her, her soul in peace so we hope to see you after one hour صلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين